Ducks are an animal not many people are concerned about, yet form an essential part of our fauna. Their numbers vary greatly from year to year, and not observing them can be very dangerous for their population. For this reason, a group of three individuals founded the organization Ducks Unlimited in 1937 in hopes of restoring them. Formed and funded an organization which had laid out a 10-year plan of action for increasing the number of upland game birds. Eventually, this project took a much greater magnitude, influencing millions of Americans. The implementation of donations given by people led to more wetland conservation, catalyzing the increase in waterfowl numbers across the U.S. In an attempt to understand how well known this organization is currently, I interviewed a variety of people, some being associated with the city parks and others being citizens who are not as immersed in the topic area. Interviewing a greater sample space will give me a much more accurate representation of how popular Ducks Unlimited could actually be, as many people may not be as passionate for outdoor activities. So, do you have any idea what Ducks Unlimited is? No, I do not. Okay, thank you. Hello, do you have any idea what Ducks Unlimited is? Yes. Uh, could you describe if you do know? They are a uh, nature conservation organization focuses on uh, aquatic or, uh, yeah, aquatic wildlife. Um, they advocate for them in the government uh, as a lobbying organization and um, promote policies that, um, that, that uh, are conducive and, and beneficial for uh, uh, migratory birds. The responses I gathered from this interview serve as a testament to support my original premise that the organization is truly popular among people who do outdoor activities. Out of the people I interviewed, one didn't know about the organization at all, and two did, one of which was a ranger and the other was a fisherman. Although I could not legally record the ranger in his response, he told me that he knew a lot about the organization and that he didn't notice a change in the number of waterfowl that were around the lake. He told me that this was due to the fact that these birds didn't tend to migrate and live practically there. A question many have is about the organization and about where the donations originate. A great portion of the donations come from hunters, who care about the population of waterfowl. Although many of them do kill a portion of the birds, they help restore areas by giving money, which is more helpful than people who do nothing for the cause. The regulations that are in place help to protect the animals from overhunting, which could be another concern. So, how does all this wetland conservation actually work? Basically, these areas are designated places where ducks can have offspring, and are made by creating these so-called swimming pools, or islands, to let these animals reproduce without the necessity of protecting against predators, or, such as foxes or coyotes. Here, they procreate, and then travel across the North American continent to pr protect themselves from the cold during the winter seasons. Both Canada and the United States have these areas, as the places they reproduce can vary between two countries. Programs such as Ducks Unlimited have helped the prevalence and health of nature in an era where these are usually at stake. Although it is a step at saving a variety of species, there is much more we can do as humans, implementing more programs in an attempt to preserve the beauty of our world. Hopefully, by saving a total of 15 million acres of land across the world from urbanization, it will serve as an initiative for more companies and programs to begin in such a technologically oriented environment in which we live today. As a result, people will learn how to respect and enjoy the outdoors, increasing longevity and tranquility.